Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates or golden worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda. Our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something. Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? 
I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, Adena what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well? Ryder? Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. When can she wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. You ready? On it. I'll try. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder! Can you go reset it? There! It's reset! That should do it! We're routing the current now! Red recover! It's working! Readings are the green! Thank God. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. That was close. Barely an Andromeda and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead. Control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust to sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. 
Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. Sarah wouldn't want us to worry because of her. You're right. The mission comes first. Though, I doubt your mother would have seen it that way. I promised her I'd get you two here safely. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Archive area, this is Shuttle 1. 
switching to manual guidance. Charles 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. Turning to Vector 135. Copy that. You're on point. Wow, what do you look at that? Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected. See if I can even it out. My stomach would appreciate that. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. I'm sure beats reading the brochures. Beginning our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Ryder, come in. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline, Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. That's it. We're getting there. I think I see the top. Am I making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? Don't know, but it's our job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. 
We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look. Holy shit. What was first contact protocol again? No deadly force unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah, said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. Yeah, and Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. Nice and easy. We only go hard if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us. No, I am sure. I'm hurt. He sees us. <laughs> we can't understand you. We're not here to fight. That man's with us. Can't no, I sure. Me. Doesn't sound friendly. <laughs> What's the other guy? Shit, they're beating him! Weapons up! Okay. It's over. Bishop, you okay? Oh, so much for making peace with the locals. Thanks for jumping in. I wish I didn't have to. The first aliens we meet and we try to kill each other, that wasn't the plan. Then we need a new one. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. I count one left to go! That's the last of them. Uh, I can't believe we're doing this. Did Captain make it? No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. You too, Harry. How is everyone? Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? 
We tried being nice. They didn't play along. to lose our cool. Now I feel better. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Take cover! Take cover! I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... <clears throat> I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Ryder. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable for a while. Let's move. It did we? This is more than we took out. Incendiary rounds. My dad's been busy. He was an N7. They don't mess around. Somebody was pretty clever with these rods. Only way to survive here. We're close. The half point shows my dad's up there. Stay low. Who are these guys? Visitors, just like us. I don't think they're native to the planet. 
They're not. We found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. Wouldn't be much of a recon specialist if I didn't. <laughs> well, you're off to a good start. Baptism by fire. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. We're banking on science we don't really understand. What if the theory's wrong? The alternative is an 85% chance of death from lightning strike, capture, or worse. Well, when you put it that way. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. Beats getting fried by lightning, but we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. to the structure. Sam, load combat profile. Let's 
got me! Give it right back to him! We're almost there! This looks like a control center. Keep him off my back! You heard him! We made it! In one piece! Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. Surround us in no time. We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us. Where do you want us? Got it. Right. Watch it. Think I see movement. We held them off at the shuttle. We can do it again. A lot of people still counting on us. I'm just getting warmed up. They mean business. Keep them off your dad. Analyzing possible inputs. 25% decrypted. Hurry. We don't have long. Hold both sides. Can't let them slip through. What is this place anyway? I don't know, but they sure want it back. Well, 50% decrypted. It's an unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try a recursive search. I will need a moment to evaluate the pattern. We only have a moment. Do it. <laughs> I think I really pissed that one off. Maybe because I shot him in the face. Any progress? Decryption is 75% complete. We've almost got it. Just a little longer! They're falling back! Could be regrouping for another push. Stay sharp. Decryption complete. That did it! It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. Put your back into it. Uh, you really think we can uh, shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Who do you plan on talking to? More like what? I think it's automated. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam, begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. It's working. You did it. 
There's hope at least. This is more than hope. It's proof we weren't crazy. We can fly to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. I suggest a hardwired connection. Do it! There! Welcome back. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm so sorry. I know this must be a blow. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Korra? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder. You can't be serious. What's the matter? I think you're up for it. Why would my dad do this? He obviously had faith in you. I say run with it. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. 
A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad and both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. He never mentioned anything about that. It allowed me to know him better. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody?
Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's... Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after-effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light-years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7, the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. 
Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with it. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? My father believed I am. If you trusted him with a job, you'll have to trust his judgment. Your father won't be around to fix things if you fail. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. 
If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the Initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a Pathfinder until they've Pathfound something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder. We're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the Initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Trans technicians, please report to the Hyperion coupling annex. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... 
A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Engineer. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain. But tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly? I would say we're more than up for the challenge. 
privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. We came across alien technology on Habitat 7. It seemed to affect the weather. Your people know anything about that? There have been reports. Failed scouting missions have mentioned advanced structures of unknown design. Whatever they are, they defy explanation. But with our resources stretched so tight, no one has had a chance to study them. And what if the answer was bad for morale? Suppose these things turn people into food. All we know is the cat are interested in them. I'd rather not stir things up. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. 
I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Alec. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. It's how Dad was wired. He didn't like to lose, in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. 
After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. That's all for now. Of course. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. 
The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Every plan the Initiative made is out the window. Now it's on us to find the way. We all came here ready for a challenge. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. Pathfinder, check this toy. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? 
I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. I never planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all that ready. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board, spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I've got the training. People. The tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? There. Sit us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. You can't open it without codes. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a pathfinder. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. 
you turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Is it smarter to hide and hope? Or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. <clears throat> Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvage. Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company. is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up, maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. No man should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Ugh, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. 
I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Could be crazy enough to carry heavy... Should be enough glyphs. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Off, or I will put you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Ryder, you've been studying this remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile.
head down. Lexi, found another colonist. We're so I close. I detect a high level of threat encryption here. Once we get that linguist to continue, we'll crack. you will need to so decrypt it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We. Oh no. No. They were saving any data they could in case it helped the next try. That's it. Interface successful, Pathfinder. That's enough. That did it. Can't drop shit. Seriously? Done. The monoliths are online and connected to... something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scans suggest. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Suit up and find out. Got it. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance. No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. How far down do you think it goes?
can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. What are you? Come on, Pathfinder. Hey. Taking us. Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like. Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Hmm. Well, if the remnant aren't using it. I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. You go ahead. I've got your back. Look there, you see that? Looks like a broken information display. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. Minor. This gravity well sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend. And for when we try to explain all this. Com check. It's... well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. Com check. It's... Well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit.
whatever that liquid is. They need a whole aqueduct of it. Remnant! Be careful, don't fall in that liquid. It burns through your shield. Found that out the hard way. Watch yourself, it burns. My God. All this for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? Omnigel. That fluid could be what's keeping this place going. Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end. down here work, and some don't. Perhaps to direct and assist manual reactivation of the vault, or to mislead intruders. Great. Great. to build it. processor we found before didn't need all these steps. It had just to interface with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. 
Might be another gravity well? The well's sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power. Same as before. Better save the sorry. Take them out! <laughs> Gravity well remains in lockdown. This device appears defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit flirt pr pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? A gauntlet. Or maybe a hand tool. Our scientists will love it either way. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Looks like it worked. You don't even a bridge. You're a foul rider. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. We'll catch up. If we got that door working too. Will you look at that? How do we get across? Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Wait, plants. All the way down here? You see them too? I thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear. Company!
Nice work, people. It made a new path. I think that's the right way. Observers coming up at us! Armor hydraulics compensating. That bit's slippery. Got a path to. Whoa! Far, even for jump jets. People have to see it for themselves. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All continents converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. Should we go? Baby, get back to the entrance now. I saw it. What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out! Men!
gravity well. It could go anywhere. It goes away from here. We're taking it. It's still coming. It's sweeping the whole wall. Don't let anything in its way. Yeah, like us. is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Port restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that... field? Might have been sweeping the vault, or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. We have to be more careful. That field almost disintegrated us. But it didn't. You want to focus on that or the cool vault you just activated? Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. I don't know. We're a team. You like working solo. Sure, but we don't have to be joined at the hip to solve all this. Come on. <sighs> all right. Pack what you need and... Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. 
I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call, but research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Watch out for everyone. But not you, right? You're genuine. I know what I came here to be. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. A bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions. Connor, Supply. Ramirez, Medical. Abram, Science. Fox, Engineering. With them and my Major Domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet. 
but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop. Meaning, we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now, and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It's dangerous. And that's all I see. A mass of destructive, malevolent tentacles. I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while recognizing that I wouldn't want to get close. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? You are welcome to your beliefs. It's good to have different voices on the team. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. 
Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging Line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Hello, Pathfinder. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Do respect, Director Tan, but you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, Alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. 
Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Right. <laughs>